What is good guys, it's your boy Low Key back bringing you another video and today I want to actually jump on the computer and we're going to look at some charts which is something I don't normally do because I am not a TA expert. We're going to talk about Bitcoin and is it still bullish? If it's bullish where it could be going and if it's bearish where it could be going. Also XRP has been pretty much going in and we want to talk about that in a little while and of course eos also because this week is pretty important for eos so first before we get into it you already know this is not financial advice do your own research we're keeping it simple that's it do your research now before we look at the charts still jump in this computer this tweet right here um pretty much summarizes it all for me now i am not a technical analysis expert straight up i'm not going to be drawing lines and going crazy now for anybody that does not understand what technical analysis is it is when you are pretty much using a bunch of indicators to predict where you see charts going all right so you're using a whole bunch of different indicators to figure that out technical analysis has nothing to do with technology behind a project you can easily confuse that so that would actually fall under fundamental analysis those are two different things technical analysis and fundamental analysis are different but um to get into this tweet follower asked me today how i spotted that eos would do so well told him it's the same for any trade i take technical analysis 10 percent instinct 10 percent understanding the psychology of the crowd 80 percent and honestly i can't say that the numbers are exactly the same but this is pretty much how i go about buying cryptocurrencies is just by doing this right here you know doing a little bit of technical analysis watching a lot of these channels i know people probably see you know sunny decrees out here and the moon and some of these other channels go ahead watch those technical analysis channels uh even trevon james with crypto weather whatever it is that can help you get some technical analysis understanding practice it learn some of it on your own and um you're always going to have that gut feeling so that instinct no matter who you are even if you like instinct is just always there uh, maybe you could train yourself to get rid of instinct and simply go off of charts but instinct is always there for me and then majority of what i'm doing has to do with the sentiment from the people what do i think the people are going to be drawn to so sometimes there's a big announcement technology wise and it doesn't get that much love and i think that's because it goes over people's heads so what i like to look for is the simple things Block One has an announcement coming out on Saturday. <laughs> they are releasing something that is going to be, from what they say, the biggest thing since the announcement of EOS itself. So, I mean, you don't need much to follow that. Now, does a, can you run a full node on EOS? EOS doesn't, have, like all of those things don't really move me like that. I like to pay attention to the simple things that are easy for people to understand. So without further ado, Bitcoin, let's get into Bitcoin. Now, where could Bitcoin be going? I, I'm, I you know, at the end of the day, nobody really knows. It looks like we're forming another uh, bull flag. Um, don't mind these lines. This is just me just attempting to do a little technical analysis. But here's the thing. What I have been paying attention to, right? You can see this red line here. Um, this is the price that Bitcoin is at right now. If it closes or if it goes over the previous candle, it will turn green. And then from where it closes, if it goes down, it's red again. If it goes up, it's green, right? So I'm just gonna draw a line, a horizontal line right here, right at our little resistance point where Bitcoin made it to, right? And if you zoom out, you zoom out, you zoom out, you go far, where is the next resistance? So this is where we're at, this line right here, right? You can see it. And where's the next resistance? Let's, let's uh, make it a little easier to see. So for me, I went ahead and circled these points because I'm, I, I pretty much just wanna know, are we coming up to resistance? Are we seeing some support? I go with the trend pretty much. And the trend is telling me right now that the next point of resistance is gonna be somewhere in this area, which is somewhere close, awfully close to ten thousand dollars so let's zoom in just so everybody could see looks like 
really close to $10,000 is where we're going to see resistance. Maybe shoot right past that and then go up to this 11,600 range. Um, most people don't really want to see that. I don't know. I mean, I love bullish. I love just bullish, bullish, bullish. But some people don't want to see that. They want to see a nice, healthy uh, retracement and maybe form a new line of support. Um, if we're following, you know, the current trend of the bottoms we've been creating and we were to bounce off of this trend line that would look really healthy. Um, don't mind this this big wick that happened over here. But you've seen that Bitcoin was setting higher lows, higher lows, higher lows. And then finally we broke out. Um, happened the first time and then now it happened the second time again. Now, if we were to retrace and bounce off of this new trend at around 8300 or so, 8200, that would be that would be beautiful. Um, it would show that we are on a new trend for sure, which we've already kind of confirmed. But um, I think that that would be beautiful. Um, as far as some of the alts, while Bitcoin has been consolidating over here, typically when Bitcoin is consolidating, we do get to see some love for the alts. And so far, XRP um, seems to be doing good. And of course, EOS. But before we get into that, quick message. Download Brave Browser. Whether desktop or mobile, browse the web up to eight times faster than Chrome or Safari. It comes with a built-in ad blocker to prevent you from using the data you pay for to download unwanted ads. It also blocks trackers and comes with a built-in Tor browser option. Last but not least, earn basic attention token. Hoddle them or reward your favorite content creators. Download Brave Browser today using the link in the description. All right, so I'm here with XRP. The XRP chart is here and it's very similar. This is not really anything crazy that I'm trying to get into, uh, moving average or anything like that. Golden cross, we know that the golden cross just happened. I'm simply looking at what is the next level of resistance. So if you zoom in over here on um, XRP, right? I like to use the four hour chart. We can see that we already reached some resistance, right? We already reached some resistance last week in this 46 cents range. And then we came up really close to that same area, 45 cents. And uh, it's definitely played as some resistance. So remember this red line right here, that's where we're at right now. This red line, you see any resistance between where we're at? Look, right here. So you can see that this is playing as resistance for us. All right, it's definitely playing as resistance. When it was support at one point, it was support, and then now it's playing as resistance. So once we break out of that, we can definitely expect to see somewhere around 52 cents. Um, if not, we could probably go even higher and go, well, not even 56 cents. I think probably even higher than that. We'd probably see somewhere in this 60 cent range. So um, remember, not a lot of indicators on my chart here, not a lot of, you know, patterns going on for me. This is just me looking at the next level of resistance. Now, can we retrace and come back down? Um, I don't know. We probably can. I know this is kind of stupid. I'm on the four hour chart, just dragging all the way across. But um, if we come back down and we like a real like crash come down, maybe not a crash, but I don't see us going past, you know, this uh, 35 cent range, which is pretty big to be completely honest. But not that bad. Now, could we be starting a new trend? We could be starting a new trend. I don't really know. Um, and maybe we'll bounce off of, I really doubt it, but maybe we'll bounce off of, you know, like 42 cents or something like that. That would be nice. Now, EOS. Finally, let's get into EOS, where I think EOS is going. Um, we are at the point of resistance right here with this $8. If we go ahead and break $9 right over here in this area, then, um, man, we could be seeing, um, oops, we could be seeing XR, I mean, excuse me, EOS go all the way to this $10, $11 range, not much resistance going on. That would be nice. And honestly, I think if we just have a good, healthy week, we could really see that happen. If we have a healthy week, Bitcoin closes the month strong and then 
EOS block one announcement comes on Saturday, we might be seeing a $10 EOS. So that's pretty much what I got today. I mean, you guys let me know what you think. Um, I'm Like I said, I, I keep on reiterating it because I'm really not a chart guy, but I just had to show you what I'm looking at. Do you think that XRP is going to reach 52 cents or more? Do you think EOS will go to $10 within the next couple of days? I'm bullish, um, but I'm not putting any long positions in or anything. At the end of the day, I don't plan on taking profits until we see all-time highs again or actually a significant amount higher than all-time highs. So it doesn't really matter that much to me, but it's always good to have newcomers coming in, seeing how you can make money in cryptocurrency. So let me know what you guys think. Are you bullish? Are you bearish? Do you see a retracement happening soon? Leave it in the comments. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter as well. Not much that activity going on over there, but I'm trying to step it up. And please, more than anything, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It's your boy Low Key. I'm out of here. Peace.